Hello everyone, we will continue the topic exception class and in the previous video, we discussed what is exception class, what is the super class for all the exception, what are the subclasses of CX underscore root, how we can create a sub, how we can create a exception class, we can create exception class by using messages of message class or without messages of message class. Now what I will do, I will firstly create a exception class and then I will use that exception class into the program. So firstly, I will go for without messages of message class, then I will use the message class. So what I will do, I will firstly go to SC24 transaction code. We all know SC24 is the transaction code for global classes. As I'm creating my own exception class, so first letter will be Z or Y. And we all know we have to give CX. Now, suppose I'm saying ZCX underscore suppose order. Suppose my name of the exception class is ZCX underscore order. I will go for create and you will find the first important thing which I covered during the previous lecture. Whenever you will create your own exception class, automatically SAP will provide the super class as CX underscore static check. In the previous video we covered, whenever we will go for our own exception class, SAP by default provides the CX underscore static underscore check as the super class. It means for our own exception class, this is the super class. It means whatever is in super class, it will automatically come into our exception class or we can say subclass. Suppose I will give that description. Suppose I will say exception class for order details. Now, here we have the important point. We covered, we have two ways to create a exception class exception class with messages of message class. If you will check this checkbox, yes, you have the exception class with messages of message class. It means you can use the message class messages. If I will not select this checkbox, I'm creating a exception class in which I will not use the messages of message class. Suppose firstly, I will not go for the messages of message class. If you think no one can inherit this particular exception class, you can make it final. If you want to further create a subclass using this particular class, so do not make it final because we all know a final class cannot have subclasses. So suppose I can inherit, so if I, I will not select this particular checkbox, you can select also depends upon the requirement. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. Now you can see in this exception class, these four methods came automatically these attributes came automatically. So from where these all things appeared, it came from the super class CX underscore static underscore check. If I will go to properties, you can see it is appearing as a super class. If I will double click, you can see these methods are in our subclass or you can say our own exception class these attributes are in our exception class. Now I will simply, simply activate our own exception class. Now, now in this particular exception class, I will firstly show you text tab text. Text means where you will give the exception text or you can say message text. Suppose 
आई वॉन्ट टू गिव ए मैसेज प्लीज एंटर करेक्ट ऑर्डर नंबर सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू गिव ए मैसेज प्लीज एंटर करेक्ट पेमेंट वोड सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू गिव ए मैसेज प्लीज एंटर वेल्ड करेंसी सो हैव यू सीन वेन एवर आई विल गिव एनी मैसेज टेक्स्ट every every message text has a exception id exception id and by default you are getting a exception id with the same name as that of your class see this is our class and we are getting a exception id with same to same name suppose in front of this exception id suppose i am giving a message please enter correct order number suppose i want to give a another message suppose please enter correct payment mode so every every whatever the message i am giving i have to give a unique exception id yes if you remember in the message class you have a message class and you have unique message number 0000001002 same way is here every message has a exception id every message has a exception id and once i will go to the program depends upon the requirement whatever the message text we want to display i will use that particular exception id now most most important part and this will help us during whenever we will use in the program i will go to attribute tab have you seen in the attribute tab currently i have five attributes available now i will go to text suppose in front of this exception id which sap by default provided with the same name as that of class suppose i am giving the message text please enter correct order number i will simply simply activate this class now the important part will come now whenever i will go to attributes tab i will find a attribute here have you seen i am able to find a attribute here and this attribute is constant constant means what whose value will never never change whenever you are giving the exception text whenever you are giving the exception id and exception text you will automatically find a corresponding attribute in the attributes tab important part because in the program we will simply simply use this particular attribute now you will get the more more clarity this is the attribute and it is a constant constant mean it has fixed value which will never never change and what is the value of this attribute what is the value of this attribute please enter correct order number now people will say it is a constant how i can see the value of this attribute here please enter correct order number have you seen this is the value now people will say this value is in some another format how i can recognize that this is the please enter correct order number is so you can simply see it's for additional learning we have a function module we will i will go for that particular function module that function module will simply simply show me the text suppose if i will go to sc37 transaction code this is the function module s o t r underscore get underscore text underscore key whenever i will pass the key this is the key this is the key and sap will automatically give me the text please enter correct order number suppose if i am running this function module and if i will pass this if i will pass this if i will go for okay have you seen i got the text please enter correct order number you can give it more clarity suppose if i will go to this text tab we have a text 
I we have a exception id cx underscore root and what is the description? An exception was raised. It means there is a corresponding attribute. If I will go to attribute, have you seen we have a attribute cx underscore root and it is a constant. And what is the value of this? This is the value. If I will pass this to the function module, this is just for the additional learning. SAP storing like this, SAP is showing like this, but ultimately that is our message text. If I will pass this, now you can see an exception bar stress. So this is the most, most important part. Whenever you will give a message text or whenever you will give a exception text and you are giving the exception ID, yes, in the corresponding attributes tab, we will get a attribute and attribute type will be constant. And what is the value of that attribute? Whatever is our message text. Once I will use in the program, you will realize why SAP is creating the attribute because ultimately we can access the attribute methods in our program. So whenever you are going for exception text, exception ID, because every, every exception text or message text has a exception ID. And this is true also. If I want to call this particular message, it means there must be some unique ID. If I want to call this message, there must be some unique ID. And whenever you are giving a corresponding attribute will be in the attributes tab constant and we are able to see the value. And if you want to see that value that I am able to see this particular thing, but what is the message text? So you can use the SAP function module also to check. This is for the additional learning. Now, Suppose I will go for one more message text or exception. I will I'll go for one more message text or exception text. Suppose I will give one more exception ID. Suppose I am saying, suppose I will give, okay, M-A-N-D-T. Suppose order underscore M-A-N-D-T. Now I will give that text. Please enter, please enter order now. This is for please enter correct order number and this is for please enter order number. If I will go to attributes as of now, yes, if I will see now we have one more additional attribute and it is also constant and you can see we have the, this particular initial value. If I will pass this to the function module, it will be what, whatever we are passing. So if I will pass this, you can see, please enter order number. Now I will activate this particular exception class. So what is the summary of this particular video? So many important points covered. We created our own exception class. Whenever we will create our own exception class, SAP automatically provides the super class as CX underscore static underscore check. It means whatever is in this exception class, it will automatically come into our subclass or exception class. Why we are creating our own exception class? Because we want to go for our own exception. We want to go for our own errors. Now, I simply, simply showed you the text tab where you will give the exception text or message text. Whenever you are going for message text, every exception text or message text has a exception ID or you can say unique identification of that particular message and by default whatever is the name of the class it is appearing here. Now whenever you will give your own exception text and exception ID a corresponding attribute will automatically be visible in the attributes tab and that attribute type will be constant 
and you will oh and that initial value is in some another format you can use the function module to check ultimately we will not use this function module during the practical part i showed you so that you can get a clarity ultimately scp is showing the value this but this is our text this is just like a key for our text now after that i took one more exception id and in front of that i gave my own message text in the next video i will simply simply use this message class into our program and you will understand at that point of time ultimately we are accessing the attributes attributes because whatever the message text you gave if i want to display this message for this particular message text we have a exception id and with the same name we have a attribute here so this part we will continue in the next video so that's it in this video thank you